Hi everyone, I'm Faith McQuinn, and you're hearing my voice this week because I have a special gift for you. A few days before the season two premiere, I sat down with Melinda Paul, Charity Spencer, Courtney Holly, and Wendy Keeling to just chat about the podcast. What you're about to hear is the abridged version of that hour-long conversation. If you're interested in hearing the entire hour, where we discuss more than just the podcast, head on over to patreon.com slash boom podcast and become a patron. You'll get the full discussion, plus video to go with it, and all the other perks that come with being a patron for as little as $1 a month. The cast, crew, and I would greatly appreciate your support. Before we get started, a few things to note. My wonderful sound designer, Joshua Sui, had no part in this bonus episode, so the sound is a little raw. Also, one of my cats decided to visit a couple of times, so I apologize for the random thumps. And now, without further ado, here's the bonus episode. <laughs> so let's talk about the podcast. <laughs> Oh, I even forgot the questions that Courtney made me write. Oh no! Um, you said what was your initial reaction to the script? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. so and what? What was your initial reaction to the <laughs> script? I'm just curious. I mean, I was emotionally exhausted. I'm gonna be real here. Like, I had to read it like two times. The first time that you like actually sent us the script, not not even talking about like actually reading it out loud with everybody. I just read right. it and talking with my hands. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> as long as you don't just don't tap the table. You're good. You're good. <laughs> But yeah, like I read it through two times because of the fact that I just the first time was so shocked, I guess, by everything that happened. And I'm definitely one of those people who tries to predict everything. Right. I mean, I think that's just like an actor's perspective mm. or just being mm. humid. It's natural. But I definitely tried to predict everything. And it definitely took me on twists and turns that I didn't think were going to happen. And by the end of it, I was kind of a wreck. Oh, it was no, well, it was rough. Yay, but <laughs> yeah, sorry. I mean, but it made me feel things. Well, that's good. That's <laughs> good. Yeah, it was exhausting, but in a good way. I think it was very human and realistic for such a, I guess, dramatic story. First and foremost, I'm a consumer of art, so I just like reading it as an audience member, okay. and uh, I just remember reading it through, um, just reading it through as if I'm a member of the audience and trying to appreciate the story mm-hmm. uh, and see the moments that I would respond to um, as a listener. And then, of course, you know your cast and you know you're a certain character when you get the script. And so yeah. just kind of um, getting to read it again and appreciate uh, your, your story as the character and the arc that you take and the things that uh, you get to relate to as a human. Um, and, uh, and see in the other characters <coughs> and in your relationship with other people in the, in the show. So, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of how I approached it okay. initially. Okay. okay. Wendy and Charity haven't talked about their first impressions. Uh, yeah. so I will say mine. I, was, I had loaded all of them onto my little Kindle, and I was sitting on my couch, and I was so into the story that I finished episode 10 and I threw my Kindle down I was like she better write a season 2 like I was so into it I was like I better know what happens with these guys I, I was that into it that so awesome. yeah that was my reaction to season 1 I was very engrossed in the characters and the story and- I'm super crazy busy and so like she sent me this script you know the, the whole season 1 and and I skim read the whole thing, and I'm plowing through this stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, so Detective Haley is a badass. <laughs> Can I say that? Oh yeah, good. good. <laughs> um, she's a badass, <laughs> and I like playing badasses. Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, who doesn't? Yeah. Right, right. I'm Weaklings, like, could you see me? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I tend to go. <laughs> Anytime I get a script for like, you know, meek and submissive, I'm like, you don't want me. Are you sure you want me to read for this? Okay. But um, I liked all the characters. I found them, um, you know, you kind of follow their arc all the way through. Mm-hmm. And uh, season two, <laughs> season two gets juicy. really, really juicy, and, and my character gets to really have some fun. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and and so I mean that was my thing, and I didn't skim read quite as quickly season two. <laughs> yeah. so I had some time, and I was yeah. just like, I'd be like to my husband, "Oh my god, he's in the other room." <laughs> You won't 
believe what? Oh, never mind. You don't. Care. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make he him does. care. He does. We should write him in. <laughs> I know. I should make him care. No, oh, and P.S. The part of Detective Haley was written for Wendy. Aww. Because Aww. in the original story, he was like a sixty-year-old guy, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I want Wendy. And I was looking through the script, and I was like, where can I? Who can? <gasps> okay. And so I rewrote. Because it was Detective Hadley that. was his name. And I make the joke in it at the end when Luke calls him, or Dax calls him Hadley, that that's my little like joke for me because that was the original <laughs> character's name. Aww. Because you never that's learned so his cool. first name. So nice. Porter always was like, I didn't know if Hadley was your first name or your last name. So I renamed her Haley so he would have the same problem. I was like, Why I didn't, didn't know you ever tell me that until right now? I'm sorry. So I totally rewrote it because I was like, okay, I want Wendy. So what do I need <laughs> to do? Awesome. I'm going to make awesome. her a badass woman. So now I was so scared that you wouldn't like my audition. <laughs> no. Now I'm like, whatever. Needless <laughs> to say, we're in. We're already had the party. No worries. <laughs> shit. As fans, what did you think of it? And don't go all like, oh my god, it's amazing. Because I got that. <laughs> so amazing. But like, how would you tell people about it? Like, would you tell them as a fan, or would you be like, I'm on this podcast and I need you to listen to it? I think I. Well, that cat, cat destruction. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I think I would do it both ways. I think I would mm-hmm. let people know that I'm part of it because I promote the projects that I'm involved with because it's good for me, it's good for the project, mm-hmm. and I love this podcast. But I, I, I feel so strongly that the actors involved and the story involved and the sound design is 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 incredibly strong. So when I'm when I'm promoting this, I'm not lying. Mm-hmm. I, I think I think it's I think it's a strong piece of mm-hmm. fiction. I think it compels the audience, and I can't imagine somebody not wanting to listen to the next mm-hmm. episode. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very similar to what Wendy just shared. Like, I mean, I tell people, I'm like, this is the kind of story I would be thoroughly obsessed with even if I weren't in the cast. Yeah. yeah. It makes it that much more exciting for me that I am in the cast mm-hmm. for it, but even if I wasn't, I would be sitting there, you mm-hmm. know, on the edge of my seat waiting for the next episode because I just have to know what happens. Every time I see him, like, so what happens in the next season? <laughs> I like, know. it's just like, it's killing me that I don't know what happens in season three because as a fan, <laughs> I want to know. Yeah, I should give you guys the really horrible novel I wrote. You can just read that. That would be amazing. <laughs> and we'll <laughs> produce it. Yeah. 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 How many more people in this room? Right. Yeah, we'll just produce it. <laughs> like a yeah. dramatic reading of it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Stop. That would be amazing. Oh, <laughs> can we do all the voices? Yes, all of them. <laughs> I just feel like it's a story that's not told or it hasn't been told yet, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, And that to me is what matters about the projects that I get involved with Mm -hmm. Um, and and the the things that I listen to, you know, is I want to hear something that taps into a part of life that I haven't Mm -hmm. acknowledged yet in Mm -hmm. art or in, you know, whatever medium it is. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, you know, I've listened to other drama series and, uh, and haven't found this one yet. You know, I hadn't found this one yet. Um, and so that's why I promote it both ways, Yeah. you know, as someone who's involved mm. in it and excited about being involved in it. And then as a fan, as someone who's excited about the story, excited about knowing what's coming, um, especially since I feel like. Um, the momentum is just picking up <laughs> yeah. and yeah. slowing down. Yeah. And so it just makes it that much more like, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, as it goes. Because yeah. it started mm-hmm. off a little bit, um, I mean, it started out with a boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Somebody had to say it. It had to happen. <laughs> but, I mean, it, it, I feel like once that happened, it took a, it took a little bit of a breather. In the sense that we got to experience the psychology, we got mm-hmm. to experience the detective work, but then the end of the season happened, mm-hmm. and then season two happened, and things are just rolling downhill. Okay. Um, and that, as a you know, as a, a person who's listening to it now on the other side, just makes you more and more invested because you had time to breathe with the characters, and now you have time to just kind of. Yeah, you know what I think helps too. Like, for me, it's easier because I don't think of her as me. But the foley and the sound design mm. is just fantastic. Oh my gosh, Josh! Mm-hmm. Josh, yeah. shout out. Josh. I love yeah. Josh. I can't. Yeah. I, I've used Josh for my he's, stuff too, and I love Josh. He's, yeah, he's incredible. amazing. But yeah. I think it really pulls you into yeah. hearing it like you're in there, yeah. like yeah. you're yeah. with them. Um, 
it makes a big difference. Like, because mm-hmm. I'm like you, I'm like, oh, I'm listening to us do this. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. as soon as I listen, it helps to have surrounds down in your own oh, studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like when it's bouncing off yeah. the walls and you're hearing the creak of doors, I'm like, oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. oh yeah, and we add a lot. It's yeah, fun. like I put in a it's bunch really of well reference done. sounds for him. Mm-hmm. Like when I'm cutting it, I'll put in a bunch of reference sounds. But I like write him and I'm like, right. I don't like how that door sounds. Can you fix that door? And mm-hmm. I was like, and I need and this to sound like that. Yeah, and fixes the door. I mean, that was really cool for us though as actors and like people who are behind the scenes for it because we I mean we were just in the studio we yeah. read it mm-hmm. like right. we read it and then to have each episode released and we had to wait just as long as anybody we else did. which right. was really mean I know so I, agree. <laughs> I agree with I want my copy but, <laughs> yeah. but it was also and like since 11 through 15 exciting. are available you guys I can get to you please I kind of like I kind of like I, I'll but probably exciting. still listen to yeah. it when they're released like everybody else because yeah. We get to, we're lucky in the sense that we get to hear it for the first time like everybody else. Like, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. we know it happens, mm-hmm. but there are so many things like, yeah. like you said, the creaking of a door or the birds chirping in the background, the bowling alley, like all of that mm-hmm. stuff that I'm like, it's totally different. Whoa, this is not the studio. Well, <laughs> and we weren't necessarily in the room reading with each mm-hmm. other. Yeah, so each yeah. scene had its actors, yeah. you know. Locked in, yeah. and so I didn't hear what you right. were hearing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I didn't hear what you were doing. So yeah. now, I mean, I heard us went the run through. Right. Yeah. I knew what our voices were. I knew who our characters mm-hmm. were. But to hear it put together, you know, when you weren't in the room, yeah, yeah. that's pretty awesome. Difference between film acting and voice acting. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good question. Because all four of you <laughs> do both. I, I know that I found because this was my first time ever doing anything voice acting related. I mean, sure, I've done like. In acting classes, I've done voiceovers and stuff like that, you know, like, but it's never been like, okay, let's create a character here and hopefully everybody understands what she's going through because you're reading it. (laughs) And, Mm -hmm. um, I did find that it was, it was very similar in aspects because you, you have to be believable. Mm -hmm. Like, I think being behind the microphone, you think to yourself like, oh, I have to be a little bit bigger because no one's going to know that I'm crying right now. So, you know, and Mm -hmm. it's, that's just not true. As long as you're living the truth of that character at the time, it, it definitely comes across because you have all of these talented people with you who are professionals at capturing those moments. And I think voice acting kind of gave me the liberty Hmm. of, of being more honest, which is actually like translated into my like on stage and film work too, because it just has allowed me to take a giant breath and go like, no, just live the truth, and it'll it'll come across the way it needs to come across. Mm-hmm. And it's a it's a really beautiful thing. It really is. Um, you know, you have you have stage and you have film, and those two are completely different animals because you know, one you have the fifty foot rule, and you have to reach that person way in the back of right, you know yeah. the, the theater. And like that's what I was trained in. Like that's my entire degree. And you know, to go from that to film, where it's you have right this here. and you have to like yeah. dial it down and really just you know live in it mm-hmm. even more i guess internally in, yeah, yeah internally like cuz everything mm-hmm. that goes through your mind you're going to see mm-hmm. now you're behind a microphone and it's you know you have to take all of that internalization and have it come out your mouth yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun and it's really challenging at the same mm-hmm. time yeah. mm-hmm. so that's my answer i think i think i agree with you 100% <laughs> i think mm-hmm. I think you have to know your character better. Mm-hmm. Um, I can sell something visually with my eyes. I can, I can make myself cry in five seconds flat. I'm not going to do that right now, but I can. <laughs> but I think that your voice really tells whether you're really crying or not. Mm-hmm. You know, whether you're really mad or not. And I think if you don't have your character down and you are not that person, if you're not her, they're going to hear it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I will say for me, because I am loud and talk with my hands and I go, and I, (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, you and me both, I'm like so so bad about my P's and my T's and, and, you know, I've done VO auditions, I've done some VO work and I'm just like, oh. Damn it, Wendy, you're just and y'all are so good, you'll provide me with a little spit cup right in front of me. <laughs> So if I am it, it doesn't go into the, the audio recording and I've just embarrassed myself. But, <laughs> but I do find myself when I when I first get into the room thinking about 
the technical parts of being a voice actor and thinking you all are so much more better than I am and have done it so much more and they sound so good. And I'm like stressing out about my P's, my T's, and did I do my D right? And then five minutes in, I remember that I'm Detective Haley and Haley doesn't give a shit. Right? Yes. <laughs> That's the best yes. Yes. That was amazing. <laughs> My job is <laughs> Yes. Um, anyway, uh, I don't know. Um, kind of like what you were saying, just the fact that the audience, because I'm used to stage acting. That's my mm -hmm. that's my um, main arena. Um, and so I'm so used to projecting my voice like, woo, all the way mm -hmm. there. Um, and so uh, when we first did uh, season one, that was right at the beginning of, of when I started getting into VO work. Um, and the VO work I was doing was was audiobook, uh, mostly and commercial mostly. Mm -hmm. So it, it felt like a very different beast. <laughs> oh yeah, very different beast. Yeah, very and different. so um, and so I found myself um, at the start of, of recording, and then also like when I first started listening to it, being super critical of myself and just like listening to it and thinking, oh my god, like I didn't have any vocal inflection. Oh, yeah. oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but then you realize that part of um, I mean, part of it is just, it's right here. Your audience mm -hmm. is here. Right. Um, and, and just some, so many of the things that you bring to stage or film work is going beyond that. So like really speaking into and really mm -hmm. uh, sending it into a, a specific point beyond um, whatever it is that's capturing it. Mm -hmm. And so I think kind of as I became more comfortable with it is, is where I found uh, the connections that I could make from my other work to this. Um, and, and then also just, I mean, like everyone's been saying, appreciating yourself within that character. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone did that, which is why it's such a successful piece of work. Yeah. Um, uh, just that we all embraced our characters. My scenes in season one were like basically me and Porter. Mm -hmm. This yeah. close face to face with yeah. a microphone right between us. And it felt maybe even more intimate than film acting in some ways, which mm -hmm. film acting does have very intimate moments. I mean, the camera can be like right up here in mm -hmm. your face, but standing this close to someone doing such emotional scenes, mm -hmm. it felt very, very, it felt way more intimate than, um, than a lot of the film acting I've done. It's very similar to what film acting is, but mm -hmm. I did find myself giving, giving Jen a little bit more inflection than I would in my normal life, just mm -hmm. because I knew that the only way I was communicating was through mm -hmm. my voice, Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? And I do do a lot of voice work, but it's all narration. It's yeah. commercial stuff, so, which yeah. is completely different right. beast than, yes. than playing a character in a drama. Yeah. Um, one big positive, and this kind of, I've shared this with a few of my friends, this has made me chuckle, was that because it was a podcast, you know, Garrett and Paige have both been friends of mine for a long time. We've done lots of stuff together. And the, when I went to you, I was like, Faith, can Paige be my kissing devil, please? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, oh, totally. like I love that, I love so that, funny. I love that, you know, because it was a podcast, you know, I didn't have to make it with my friend in front of his wife. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no, oh my gosh, that's a different I'm story. A We're gonna wrap. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Yay, it was fun. Thank you guys. Yay. 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 <laughs> well, that's it for the bonus episode. Join us again next week for episode 16 of Boom. For more information on the show, including our Patreon link and other ways to support us, please visit boom.observerpictures.com. You can also find the links in our show notes. Thank you for listening, and please share this podcast with a friend.